Yo, what's up dudes? Welcome to another video of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely max out Link's blue champion tunic. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Not too difficult. It's probably the easiest uh, part to do. You have to get the uh, Silent Princesses. You need 10 of those and you also need 2 shards of Dinral's horn. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Alright, so basically all you have to do is get to this location where Dinral is, shoot him with one of your arrows and uh, in the horn, and it's going to drop one of his shards. Now, the only thing that's pain in the ass about this is actually getting to this part. And I'll show you on the map exactly where I'm at right now. Alright, here it is. Um, so, like, there's no easy way to get here. Like, I didn't see any shrines along the way. I mean, that's going to be the pain in the ass to get there. I mean, you're just going to have to travel, bro. I mean, that's that's the, the long and short of it. But once you get there, I mean, it's going to take you about, I don't know, 25, maybe 30 minutes to get there if you have, you know, the right equipment on and stuff like that. You don't fuck with any of the other uh, enemies around there. But pretty much, get here, and if he's not there, make a campfire, wait until morning, and just, um, I don't know. I found that it was easier to go to the right of him. There's like a ledge. Shoot him on from the right because that way the fire doesn't kind of, you know, screw with you and stuff like that. I mean, that was pretty simple. You just saw that right there. You need two of these uh, horn shards. So I think I actually don't even shoot him in the uh, the horn this time. I think I shot him in like the, the side and I got like a scale the first time. Let's see exactly what I got. Is this a horn shard or? Yeah, it's a scale. All right, so I'm going to show you what I did to get the horn shard. Alright, so what I did was I made camp, made a, a campfire, and uh, sat until the morning. Um, he's going to come. It's just going to take him a little bit to come from the mountain that he's at, but he's going to rear his head around that corner any second. Get to this ledge right here, or there's a ledge more to the right to sort of stay out of his way. You Basically what I did was I'm, I'm going to shoot him from the side as he's going by. And like with all dragons, he has this updraft of wind that follows him. So if you can catch that updraft of wind, you can use your uh, bullet time or your arrow time, I guess, in Zelda. Um, you can shoot the horn. And you're going to have to do this two times. All right, there's number one, and it's going to drop that shard of his horn. Watch the trajectory. See exactly where that horn shard drops because you don't want it to, you know fall down into the ravine I mean you really have no control if it does fall down to the ravine but most of the time it's gonna fall down like right at your feet which is good too because I mean why would they add more difficulty to this because it took you forever and a year to get here so that's the first shard and this is me trying to get for the second shard I waited until morning again for him to come on by and there he is just uh wait for him to shoot on by there all right, I caught the updraft, and I'm going to go right up there, shooting with my ancient bow so it goes straight in the line. And I missed with the first shot, which sort of sucks. He's got all that fire around him. It's kind of daunting, actually. So I'm just going to uh, equip the only other arrows that I have because I'm doing really bad on arrows at this point in time. Wait for the wind to go. The wind, I caught hold of the wind. No, and... I've got to hit this time, so i got to aim just a little bit better, maybe a little bit up, and that's, that's definitely, that's on the money. Alright, watch where the shard goes, and there it is. Ooh, shaka yaka. And I got my second shard. Now that is the first part of enhancing the tunic to the max, and that's actually the easy part. The hard part comes in the fourth fairy fountain, and that's what took the longest. You literally need 10,000 rupees. It's ridiculous, I know, and for some strange reason, I really wanted to show you me having 10,000 rupees, but for some strange reason, the video did not get recorded. I don't know what I was doing. I maybe thought I was recording, but I wasn't, but I grinded for like three hours. I destroyed uh, random guardians and, you know, got some stone mineral deposits. But if you don't know where the uh, other fountain is, the one that's in the desert, this is the, uh, the location of that great fairy fountain it's just underneath a giant skull in the Gruta desert um here's the location of it um on the map there if you really need to uh see it there's a shrine over here in this area so you can quickly be able to come back and forth to this great fairy fountain as much as you need there you go there's the shrine the hawa koth shrine now this fairy she's gonna ask you for ten thousand rupees i i mean it it took a while i mean so get on your your rupee farming 
I suggest going to every mineral deposit that you find. Um, and just, I don't know. I don't know. Do me a favor. I've asked you this before, but to help everybody out in the comments, if you know a good way to farm rupees, go ahead and put the downs for anybody who can, you know, can listen and can get that information because literally I enjoy farming guardians. It's probably not the most efficient way to farm rupees, but that's what I like to do. I like to run up on them with the master sword, cut their legs off, and just take all their parts. It's fun for me. It's I, I sit back and listen to music and kill guardians. It's, it's great. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so this is after I've spent the 10,000 rupees. I'm going to go catch this fairy right here. If you run up on him quick enough, you can snatch one. Um, so I've, I've got my 10,000 rupees. I've paid for the fairy fountain. I have everything that I need, or so I think. I've got the two shards of Denril's horn. I've got the silent princesses, and I've got my champion's tunic. Okay. Enhance away, and while I can't enhance it, it looks like I need, I am missing three more Silent Princesses. So I know there are some people in the comments of one of the videos that were asking, how, where do I get Silent Princesses from? Well, this is a perfect opportunity, because I'm going to show you exactly right now where I got my Silent Princesses. Now, I'm pretty sure there are more that spawn on the Great Plateau, because I think that's where I got the majority of them. But the ones where I knew were exactly where they were at were right here. Um, around the Great Fairy Fountain next to Kakariko Village. There are a bunch of blue nightshades, but I do know for a fact that there are Silent Princesses here, and luckily for me, there were just enough here. There they are, the three that I needed. So there are my three Silent Princesses around this fountain. I'm going to look around for some more. There are a bunch of Endura carrots around this area, but I didn't see any more Silent Princesses. So now armed with my Denril's Horn, my two shards of Denril, Denril's Horn, Denral's horn. Can I say that? Armed with my silent princesses and my two shards of Denral's horn, I'm going to go back to the Great Fairy Fountain. So, back to the Great Fairy Fountain so she can enhance my blue tunic times four to the max. Cost a lot of money to do this, so I'm really pleased with the results of this. This is the strongest armor that I have right now as of this moment. As of the making this video, this is the strongest armor that I have. Doesn't give you anything special though. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. Except that it's just a really strong piece of armor. Yada yada yada. Yes, enhance away please. She's just going to check to see that we have everything. Got the champion's tunic, got the uh, 10 silent princesses, and got the two Denril's horn shards, and enhance it from 22 to 32. All right, so that is pretty much it, man. That's how to enhance the army, uh, the armor. Um, if you didn't see the videos that I uploaded uh, before this, I have one about enhancing the armor times three, and I think it also um, have one enhancing the armor a uh, second time. The first enhancement of the armor is pretty simple. Just uh, check out the rest of the videos in this playlist, and if there's anything else that you want to see, just uh, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video on it because I probably can do just about anything except there are some things that I probably can't do yet because I'm not advanced in the storyline, the main storyline yet. I've only, at this point, I've still only beaten uh, Water Blight again and I'm uh, trying to get as much as I can get done before I complete any more of the, the Divine Beast, if that makes any sense. Alright, but anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next episode, guys.